Welcome back to Golf Center, and it's that time, Wayne. The Players Amateur is finally here. It's been a long time coming. We're excited. we got a bunch of good amateurs coming to yeah. town, and to help us talk about it a little bit is Marin Rogers, the Director of Catering and Special Events out of Berkeley Hall. Hello, Marin. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you so much. Are Beautiful you day in the, the low week? country. <laughs> you ready for the week? We are. Hey, tell me, as the Director of Catering and Special Events, what is your responsibility in hosting the 14th Annual Players Amateur? I am directly responsible for coordinating the entire effort at Berkeley Hall with our management and with the Heritage Classic Foundation. So it's a, it's a really great event and between working with our director of golf, director of instruction, the chef, I coordinate all of those efforts. Now Marin, this is a worldwide tournament, it really is. So you've got players coming from all over the United States, but I've got yeah. some of the countries here, Australia, New Zealand, Colombia, South Africa, Great Britain. What kind of special arrangements are you guys having to make? It's such a diverse field. I know there's got to be different diets and all kinds of different accommodations. So what are y'all doing? Most definitely. We, uh, each day we provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner for our players. And we coordinate those efforts with chef. And we have a Japanese night. We also have an Italian night. We theme our nights. We also take care of the all the proteins that are necessary to keep them on their toes all week yeah. and of course the healthy version as well mm -hmm. and also with those players coming from all over the world we make sure that they've got a variety of beverages too to, to suit their needs. Wow these guys are amateurs but they're living like pros. <laughs> I mean, living like pros. We take great care they're of them. Li they're living like kings. Besides <laughs> living like kings and eating like kings how do you plan to entertain them when they're not on the golf course? Well, we do have a couple of special nights planned for them, starting with the sponsor night. They get to interact with the sponsors. We also do a longest drive contest. We put TrackMan out on the back lawn of the golf course, and they hit out onto the north golf course and have a great time with that with our director of instruction, Andrew Rice. Then we also have a huge party at our pool called our Volunteer Appreciation Party where the players can interact with our membership and all the volunteers and the, and the tour officials. And um, then as well as on property, they can feature our, go to our fitness center every day, our 30 acre learning center. So they really become enveloped into our community and that's what we want them to do. Yeah, and that learning center is state of the art for oh, sure. Oh, it's wonderful. It's Andrew, nice. you know, Berkeley Hall has a great place there. Andrew Rice is a terrific yeah. instructor and you know, I'm sure that he's enjoying, he's probably putting all those swings on videotape, putting them <laughs> right into his video <laughs> library this week, making sure for he sure. has them. <laughs> Absolutely. And so the, the dates of the tournament are the 11th through the 14th of this month, July. Um, is there a cost? You know, what is the what does the public need to do, um, and do they have access to, to refreshments? And that's kind of your neck of the woods there at Berkeley Hall. Most definitely, we welcome anybody from the surrounding areas and anyone from the state of Georgia, state of South Carolina that wants to come and root on their favorite player. There is no cost to come into the tournament to Berkeley Hall. We have on-course beverages and lunch available in separate stations, as well as they can come and dine within the clubhouse. We really want everybody to come and see who Berkeley Hall is and, and what we're all about. Awesome, and there's a, a local kid who's playing, right? We have a couple locals yeah. playing. We actually yeah. have Woody Woodward, the Hilton Head Prep graduate who is going to be a freshman this year at Wake Forest. He is one of the three locals playing along with Travis Cashin, a USC Buford player. Mm -hmm. And we have Bluffton resident Mike Bowser. So yes. we have some local people to watch, which should be very exciting. It's always fun to watch the local yeah, guys. Yeah, man, you gotta you root know? for the local guy. You do have to All root the for the local guys. So that's yeah. great, no cost admission, just pull right up to the gate, I assume, and they'll Come wave on you in. right We've on through. We've got parking, great parking designated areas and food and beverage available, and just come and, and see who we are. We'd love uh, there, to have you. There should be a huge crowd. There's such a golf community. I mean, that's a perfect venue. Well, and just so the fans know that are going to go, you know, the quality of these amateurs, these are some of the best in the world. You know, yeah. the top ranked amateur probably coming in is Bobby Wyatt, the Alabama mm -hmm. um, University of Alabama star who won the NCAA championships. He and his team a couple weeks ago. He comes in number third, or number three in what's ranked. Mm -hmm. There's different rankings, but in the <laughs> Scratch Players World Amateur Rankings, he's number three. You know, when we're talking about somebody here, you talk about talent. In the 2010 mm -hmm. Alabama Boys High School Championship, he shot a 57. Woo. And that's playing all the holes. How many it's not like he quit he shot. I shoot 57 every time I play, and then I have to play 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. 
You and one, of, one other neat thing about it is that these players that come from all over the world and these top players, they all stay at our members' homes all week. That's so cool. it's really neat. They can talk about their game and then from later into later years, our members can cheer them on and go and see them in lots of other tournaments. So it's yeah. really neat. And needless to say, develop you know, relationships that you know they'll carry on for life Absolutely. a lot of them. If you've seen you know, some correct. of the clips of the Players Am on the one that we run here on. Yeah in the WHHI, mm -hmm. you can see how a lot of the tour guys talk about the families, how they oh, yeah. kept in touch with them, and how they see them, you know, in different places. So it's yeah. um, it's really a great relationship they established. Good stuff. Marin Rogers, thank you so thank much you, for Marin. joining us. We hope you have a great week, and um, we'll look forward to hearing more about it. Thank you so much for having when we, me. When we come back, we're going to be joined by Mike DeVito of the Bluffton Chamber of Commerce to talk about their upcoming tournament right after this.